Good morning, good morning, good morning. Buenos dias, mi gente. Yo, yo, welcome to Daily Discipline number 429. My name is Rob Hoback. Happy that you're here. Honored and humbled that you keep coming back, like for reals. Hey, it's a thirsty Thursday. It's the 19th day of December, so only five shopping days left. I got to get those gifts mailed out, too. Uh, it's also a work day, and it's time to go, so let's do this. Let's go. First things first, I'm still the real. I'm also clean. Well, let's define that. Um, this is not the clean as in... Like when I used to go to Luster Products, I'd be all dressed up and my friend Precious would look at me like, bro, you clean, right? Like not that clean. We're talking clean like the absence of puke, vomit on me personally. Uh, it has been a whirlwind week with Lil Jackaroo. Um, on Monday, if you recall, Sunday night, Monday morning, uh, Jack threw up a couple times in the middle of the night. So all day Monday was cleaning that up. Got that done. Then my um, our cleaning lady came by on Tuesday on her regular day. So she helped clean everything up. And then yesterday, Jack was right back here. And by my count, I believe he threw up four times. Yeah, right. And so this leads me to my thank yous. So yesterday was, a, especially the last night, was very, very hectic. A lot going on. And um, so I'm just thankful. Sam stepped up in a big way, right? Just a big way. Super proud of him. Super thankful for him. Um, and I can't wait to see him play basketball this weekend. Uh, Sissy. Sissy has this way about her where she knows where I'm in the ditch and she just, she'll go through her list of little things that she'll do uh, to try to help me feel better. And yesterday she wanted, she asked me if I want to play a game of Stardew. We played twice, right? Um, and I explained to her, just like Monopoly, I'm like, Sissy, when you're playing a game, when you're competing, don't feel sorry for anybody. Just do, do what's best for you. Learn to compete, right? Um... And so just, and then when it was time to go to bed, she asked if she could lay down next to me and she had cuddled with me and told me she loved me and she's just the best. Nobody loves me like Addie. It's not even close. Um, and then there's Jack Aru, right? And Jack has been sick since Sunday night. We went to the doctor yesterday. The doctor's like, he looks fine. I'm like, oh yeah, I know. But he's been throwing up. Trust me. Can't keep anything down. So he gave us some pills that Jack won't take, some anti-nausea stuff and Anyway, just he was not only he knew he was sick, he knew he was thrown up, he knew that it was, you know, not fun, knew that he was making a mess. And so he just he's got his little personality is just blooming, right? And he was very funny, right? Talking about it. He was talking about how the throw up was coming and how it left and how he told it to go away and he was gonna stop it with his arm and he's gonna stop it with his blanket and that he had a monster in his tummy. Um, just very brave and just a joy, right? Joy. He, he, he made all of us laugh last night. He's a, and, and didn't fight at all when it's time to take a bath or go to bed. Anything. Just, I, I, I couldn't be more impressed with him. So those are my thank yous. My thought of the day is that sports matter, right? And we talk about this a lot, you know, that um, just the life lessons we can learn through sports. So here's a couple for you. Yesterday, big things happened. Uh, so, you know, National Signing Day for football players, or it's that time of the year. And so Emmett Smith, who was a legendary college football player at the University of Florida, uh, who then went to the Cowboys and helped them win multiple championships at one point in time, I can't remember if he still is or not, was the all-time leading rusher in the NFL. Um, and to watch his son um, pick a college and then Emmett started speaking was awesome, right? Awesome. You take the sports away and just listen to the message from that guy. It was awesome. So, love that. Um, the Jaguars, the, the football team down in Jacksonville, they fired Tom Coughlin as they should, right? Uh, so, yesterday, day before, the, the, the NFL Players Association said, hey, look, if you're a free agent and you're considering where you're going, you might want to just know that down there in Jacksonville, one out of every four grievances that are filed with the NFL out of 32 teams all come from there. And they're all the same thing where they're fining people for thing that they have a contract. It's collective bargain, right? Both sides came to the table and said, you can't do this, you can't do that. And as older leaders are prone to do, right? Certain older leaders, they start convincing themselves that those rules are for everybody else. What they need to do is they need to take it another step further, right? And it's whether people like this phrase or not, it's the slave master mentality, right? Like the rules are for you, not for me. If I want to turn the rules up, I go right ahead. And maybe that shit works other places. It doesn't work in the NFL. Um, and so 
you know, again, you know, Tom Coughlin uh, accomplished a lot in the NFL. Uh, unfortunately, he believes it's because of micromanagement. I would tell you that it's because he had Eli Manning, Michael Strahan, you know, just I had all these amazing athletes and um, they figured it out. It wasn't just him. Um, and so he tried to pull into that bag of tricks again, like another decade had passed and me too. And people, the empowerment of the individual, of like, wait, you, you don't get to talk to me like that. You don't get to treat me like that. So um, good for the Jacksonville Jaguars for finally getting rid of his old ass uh, and putting him out to pasture. Hopefully that's where he stays and he can't mess with anybody else's life. Good riddance, Tommy. Uh, <laughs> and then tonight, or I don't know if it's tonight or this weekend. There's a big NBA basketball come up, a game coming up. And it's hard to say, you know, big NBA basketball game in the middle of December, but it's big, right? So you've got the Lakers, who missed the playoffs last year. It was the first time LeBron, a team that LeBron was on had missed the playoffs like since forever. Um, they're the number one seed. They're playing well. They're 24-4, and four, right? Just an incredible record, playing well. Everybody, it kind of looks like right now the, the Lakers are going to go to the finals, and then over here in the East, you've got the Milwaukee Bucks, which is where Giannis is the reigning MVP who's worked really hard and he's playing tough. And so these teams are about ready to meet and it's going to be old versus new should be a fun game, right? Uh, the reason I'm interested in it is just watching the maturation of Giannis and then just seeing the greatness of LeBron. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love, I love how these guys make everybody around them better. And when they talk, it's not about them. All right. So anyway, with that, I'm done for the day. hands up. Peace out. We're better together. I got to go get some kids up and get them off to school. Hope you have a great day on a Thursday. Thursday, we'll be back. It's going to be a basketball Friday tomorrow, right? So looking forward to seeing you guys then. Have a great day. Deuces. Love you. Bye.